Now we make sure it's in the right direction. There. The flat will be in the right place. we don't want a lot of shrinking. We want that it will shrink just a hair enough to come out from the hardy hole. If we're going to forge it cold, we're going to have a sculpture. We won't be able to take it out because it won't shrink anymore. If we're going to forge it to the hardy hole really, really hot again, we'll have a lot of shrinking and usually what you get is shaking tools. Because we forge it to the to this particular hole, we always mark the tool and then we know the direction. It always fits one direction. Most of the hardy holes are not square and not perfect square. And in this case it works but usually in all the MVs you won't be able to rotate the, the hardy tools. So everybody should decide where his notch is going to face. In my case, in my shop, I know all the notches always face the horn. And I don't have to think too much. I just look at the notch and put the tool. I'm going to do it now for this angle because here we already have bending for.
keep checking himself because we don't want to go undersized. But again, this is a bit too much. We won't be able, if we forge it like this, we're going to cut it actually. It's going to spread on the visit me every once in a while in the 